That's why we are here this morning, to glorify His name, to worship Him in the spirit and in truth. We are here this morning, Father, for you. We are so grateful for this new day, for this new opportunity to exalt your name, Father, above all names, all together. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. Exalted forever, exalted and die. We'll praise His name. He is the Lord, forever His truth shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in His heart. Exalted on high, I will praise Him. He is exalted forever, exalted and guide.
with freedom, Father. Thank you for your presence, for your peace, for your joy. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity to come together as a body of Christ, as a church, declaring that you are all we need, declaring that you are our joy, our strength, our comfort, our healer, our father, our friend. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing is impossible for you. Nothing is impossible for you, Father. All together. You hold my every moment. You calm my raging seas. You walk with me through fire and heal all my disease. I trust.
you are, Father. Praise Jesus. As we come this morning to worship Him and praise Him, let's take a moment in the midst of this Christmas celebration to praise our Savior and Lord. Let's hold hands during this prayer as a symbolism of one church. Oh Lord, we come in before your throne. Lord, because we recognize that we not only believe that you could do all those things, we know because you have done all those things in our life. You love surpassed every imagination that could be created from our minds. You are real. And because you are real, we are here this morning praising you. Praising you because the moment that you came to our life, that moment that you came to our life changed not only our life, but you changed the generation to come. Oh Lord, yes, I did not see you as the man you. I did not see you as the cross. I did not see you when you rose again. <laughs> but years and centuries later, you rose again in my heart. Oh Lord, you gave me life. You took my sins and were washed by your blood. And in this morning I celebrate Christmas and post Christmas because you're still alive, because you're still my savior, because you're still my Lord. And as a church, we praise you because whatever we have, little or too much, is because your grace your grace has blessed us and has visited us. And just as the worship song sings, there is nothing impossible for you, Lord. And I, I ask you, Lord, to help us to trace our goals for the year 2020 based on walking according to your will, Lord. Help us to reach that matureness in our Christian's lives, Lord. Help us just to focus in you, Lord. Help us to trust you, to trust that you will take care of those challenges that are in our lives, financial, mental health, those feelings that interferes with my relationship with you. Oh, Lord, be, grow. I want you to grow larger and bigger in my life and let those feelings just, Lord, be less and less, Lord. Be strong in my life. Help me to be strong in you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, because I, we put all the things on your hands, Lord. And help us just to live according to your will, Lord. Not according to my plans, but according to your plans, Lord. Help us to trust you. Help us to please you, Lord. Help us to believe you, Lord. Let us be mature Christians for the year 2020. In the name of Jesus, amen. Yes, Father. Thank you because you are our great I am. We can do all things through you, the great I am. I want to hear your voices. I want to be close, close to your side. So heaven is real and death is a lie. I wanna hear voices of angels above singing us one. Hallelujah. 
Stop. 